Hey friends, I hope your week is off to a great start. Today we are doing another banana bread recipe. This is my third banana bread recipe, and I think it's going to be the final. A trilogy seems like a great place to end. So uh, this recipe today is from 2008, so it is 12 years old. So uh, super current content. I know that's what everyone on YouTube loves, but regardless, the recipe sounds really tasty. It is a cinnamon crumble topped banana bread. It kind of gives me like a breakfast coffee cake type vibe. So I'm curious to see how this all comes together. I've got some super rotten bananas here. Hopefully they haven't gone too far they feel like they want to fall apart all on their own. Let's go ahead and get straight into this. So first up, the dry ingredients. So here in a medium bowl, I've got AP flour, granulated sugar, ground cinnamon, baking soda, and kosher salt. And we are just going to whisk this together to get it evenly combined. All right, perfect. So this is looking nice and homogenous, so we can set it aside and move on to the next step. For the bananas, we need one cup of mashed bananas. So the recipe said two to three medium. I don't know. I think these are probably a little bit more on the large side. I'm going to mash this up, portion it out, and then weigh it. That way you all can have it in grams in case that's a little bit more helpful. These bananas I think are probably the ripest of the bananas I've used this banana bread season. And I've said before, I do actually kind of like when there are little chunks of banana in the banana bread. So I'm not going to be too meticulous about getting this 100% smooth. In fact, I think that this looks pretty good. So it looks like baby food. It's very lumpy, but generally uh, loose and runny. So uh, let's go ahead and portion it out. We need one cup. I can already tell I've got way more than I need. So quite a bit of leftover here. This was probably more of a two banana situation. Mine must have been on the large side. But with the bananas mushed up, we're ready to combine the wet ingredients. So here in a large bowl, I'm going to add in some water along with vegetable oil, plus some local honey. I always buy local honey when possible because it's supposed to help with allergies and this allergy season in New York, even though I, <laughs> I'm trapped inside, I am still sneezing up a storm, adding in all of the banana. So if you're keeping score at home, this is the second recipe that puts the bananas in with the wet ingredients. So BA's Best did it after the dry. The blackout banana bread and now this one are both putting it in as a wet ingredient. And then lastly, two large eggs. And we're going to whisk this until it's evenly combined. All right, and this is looking nice and homogenous to me. I don't see any lumps of anything remaining. It seems like we're pretty well incorporated. There's no kind of oil separated around the outside. So now we can go ahead and add in our prepared dry ingredients all at once. And I'm going to whisk this briefly just to get everything incorporated. And this looks good to me. I'm going to go around with the spatula quickly just to make sure nothing on the bottom is kind of hiding out. But this looks nice and even. So I've got my prepared standard size loaf pan. I sprayed it with some vegetable oil, lined it with parchment paper, and then sprayed that with a little bit more vegetable oil. So we'll have a nice easy release situation. So I'm going to pour the batter into the prepared pan. And then the final step here is that cinnamon crumble topping. Here in a small bowl, I've got some granulated sugar, some light brown sugar, as well as some cinnamon. I'm just going to mix this together with my fingertips and then we'll sprinkle it over the top. So this batter is actually really, really loose. This is by far the runniest batter of the three breads that we've tried out. So um, hopefully that's not a bad sign. <laughs> you just never know with these things. All right, and so this is what the crumble topping looks like when it's all mixed together. So normally a crumble topping would have a little bit of butter or something to kind of stick it together. This one is all dry ingredients, which is um, a little bit confusing. I don't know how it's really going to stay on. Maybe that's why this uh, banana bread batter is so loose. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle this over the surface of the banana bread, just trying to get an even application. This recipe came together super fast. It was about the time it took to preheat the oven. So, I mean, probably less than 10 minutes here. Just going to knock the sugar off the edges of the pan. So now I'm going to pop this into my preheated 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. We're looking for a toothpick inserted into the center to come out cleanly. My banana bread baked for a total of 55 minutes. I let it cool in its pan on a wire rack for 30 minutes prior to removing. And this is the finished product. So the bread here is incredibly dense, super moist. I'm loving the presence of this crumbly topping here. I think the extra moisture in the bread really did come through for us, helping this bind together, giving us a nice presence of crumble here. The aroma on this bread, super banana-y. I'm absolutely loving how this smells and it looks incredible. I'm super, super impressed with the end result here. So I'm dying to dig in. So let's go ahead and break this apart. The texture here is very, very soft, still a little bit warm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That crumbly topping is something my mom would, would absolutely love. This is very kind of reminiscent of my childhood, having the strudel top on breads and muffins. So really like that. Um, let's see about the bread itself, though. 
incredibly moist. The cinnamon flavor is definitely coming through here. The flavor and sweetness of this topping is so intense, it really does kind of overpower the bread. The bread itself is very um, pleasant and mild, surprisingly not overly sweet. With a cup of sugar, plus the bananas, plus the honey, I thought that this was going to be just like clearly cake, you know, nowhere close to like a, a quick bread, you know, not towing that line at all. This is not overly sweet at all, so I'm really, really surprised by that. The outside of the bread has a nice caramelization. I can't believe I'm saying this. It would almost be really tasty with some sugar sprinkled in the pan to give you that crunch on the outside as well. Maybe take some of this crumble that goes on the top and sprinkle that around the outside of the pan before you bake it. I think we have a little bit more than we need on the top and some crispiness on the outside might be a nice addition. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, the bread texture, flavor, really nice. This crumble topping, absolutely love it. Very different from the BA's Best and obviously from the Chocolate Blackout Banana Bread. So of the three of these, um, each one is uniquely different. I think each one serves a different purpose. This is very breakfast appropriate. This is definitely afternoon snack worthy. I think you could get by with serving this for dessert. Um, if it's warm with a little bit of vanilla ice cream, that kind of gets me into like a bread pudding type situations. It's really, really um, sweet and crispy. And I think with ice cream, that would be absolutely fantastic as well. So overall, surprisingly pleased with this dessert. I'm a 12 year old recipe and it's really stood the test of time on the BA website. So um, really hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up and click subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.